Hey everybody, I'm over here hanging out at Jana's house. Uh, if you can find three funny things in the background, I'll send you a postcard. Email me, booking at susangibson.com. Um, so this, Jana's traveling all summer long and I'm traveling all summer long, so I decided to do my traveling songs, uh, uh, guitar lessons. And this, this one is called Two Hometowns. Now, what the most important lesson you can learn from this song is I don't know what any of these chords are, right? But this is what I found just messing around on my guitar. So I know from looking at, at, the, at the tuner, I'm in the key of B. If I moved it up one half step, I'd be in the key of C, which would be way easier for any other guitarist to follow or for you to find in a standard tuning. But I'm not. I'm in B. I've dropped these two E strings down to D and I'm capoed up four. So if I was this, this would be G. That would be A. I'm in B. Because I'm doing a barred G chord with the drop tuning. So my tuning with the capo on is F sharp, C sharp, F sharp, B, D, and F sharp, right? Because I've dropped the tuning on these two, the two E strings. So there's a figure at the front of that song that I am fretting. So I am on the ninth fret on the third string, making that a B. It matches the next B. Sorry. Two notes, that's two notes. There's one note, a B, there's a D. And I'm just walking down. And I'm going boom dagga dagga. Boom dagga dagga boom dagga dagga boom dagga dagga boom Now I'm on the on the seventh fret. I'm going from the nut here. If you want to go from the capo, that's the third fret. There a little hammer on there. Here's that intro progression. It's just walking it down. So I'm going five from the capo. Five, four, two. And my index finger is on the first fret of that fifth string. Is this the fifth string or is this the second string? The second string. God, that is so backwards to me. And then I'm making like a almost an F. If this wasn't in the key of B, it'd be kind of an F shape. Hammer. It's not very clean. Let me do it in time. Gonna do it one more time. See how nice those hammer-ons are. Very, it's it's a timing thing. It's a simple thing, but it can really fancy up a, a pretty simple plain chord progression and hammer on. So in time it's like Like a C chord uh, formation and then here starts the verse and that's a let's pretend we're talking at the capo right five D three bar I'm barring with this finger is this confusing Jana barring with this finger <laughs> my index finger is on the, the uh, fifth fret from the nut fifth fret from the nut first fret from the capo so let's pretend the capo is the nut so I can call these chords out how they how they look not how they sound okay G
you can also do it like this. And I do this. G, D, F, C. And it's just a... Right? C form of D. It's the C form of D. And then you kind of pause there. So here's the first verse. Gas up the pickup. This ain't no stick up. If anyone asks, I am heading up north. If they try to find me, I'll see them behind me and lose them when I change my course. So you might say, Susan, how do you know if you use this D or this D? Well, this sounds like more of a solid landing. Ta-da! This is a little more suspended and airy, ethereal kind of. But either one will work. You just decide on one, make it your own, you know? You don't have to play it like I play it. This, I'm just, you know, I'm just throwing things, see what sticks, you know? And truly, truly, that is how I, I did not invent this. I just discovered it, probably watching reruns of Judge Judy on TV in the commercial breaks. second grade guitar playing instead of kindergarten guitar playing. Okay, and then there's that little, um, uh, what do you call that? Kind of a little, I guess it's the chorus. It's the never get anywhere. Here it is. So I am on the, from the capo, I'm on the seventh fret on the fifth string and the seventh fret on the second string. And I'm not hitting this low, lowest string. That's pretty. That's pretty, that's why I used it. Never get anywhere down to the third fret. Cause I'm something, nothing is something, I suppose. And I'm just keeping this one on the third fret of that second string. Um, and again, it's on the, on the, the bass note, which doesn't always mean the lowest string, but it's the one that's kind of informing what chord you're playing. So seven from the capo, three from the capo, two from the capo, three from the capo. And you can go. Back to that D. So here's the here's the a verse and a chorus. Um, Gas up the pickup. This ain't no stick up. If anyone asks, I am heading up north. If they try to find me, I'll see them behind me and lose them when I change my course. The pickup in this song is actually my dad's 1998 red Toyota pickup. I love that truck. Never get anywhere running from. That's two hometowns, Amarillo, Missoula, and your hometown and my hometown. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we are getting ready for a busy, busy summer. Uh, I've got a couple trips up to Montana, which I love saying that sentence out loud. Jan is going to be traveling all over the place. But you know what? We can still hook up uh, if you're interested in songwriting coaching. And I always like to talk to one of my songwriting heroes, Dwight D. Eisenhower. Dwight, how do you handle your rhyme schemes? You make a rhyme. So, you know, let's keep in touch even though I'll be traveling. If you're interested in song coaching, check out my website. There's a link on there takes you to a page to schedule. Jana and I won't be in the same town, 
So why should you be in the same town either? Although if that if we make that work, that's cool. Because um, I'll be going through a lot of towns this summer. Uh, but if not, we can hook up through our computer screens. That's uh, I'd love to see you. Bye.